Dun, dun, dun. I'd like to talk to you today about real estate investments. Why some people like them, why some people are afraid of them, and why you should possibly be doing them. Here are a couple of reasons why people might be afraid of real estate investments. First reason people might be a little nervous on real estate investments. On average, it takes a little bit more money to get into real estate compared to stocks or bonds. Second, you are ultimately responsible for this property. So if a toilet breaks at 2 a.m., you're the person that they're going to call. And the third reason is market fluctuations, or as everybody likes to call them, bubbles. Are we currently in a real estate bubble? Let's have a talk about that. Growing up, everybody used to love bubbles. They're adorable. They're kind of like fresh babies or new puppies. But somewhere along the way, bubbles became bubbles. And here's Webster's current definition of a bubble. Tell me if you see any similarities. Many people currently think that we're in a housing bubble. So to be safe, they invest everything that they have in the stock market. So here's the good part. Why invest in real estate? <laughs> well, are we in a bubble? The housing shortage that certain areas of the country have experienced kind of tells a different story. Guess what? Atlanta happens to be one of those areas. My second reason why to invest in real estate. Simple. It's real. If Pafapple, Pafugal, or Pafizni go out of order next week and they go bankrupt, what do you get at the end of the day? My third and maybe most important reason why to invest in real estate, it's a hedge against inflation. Government spending has been on the increase for some time, but under the Arona it jumped from $4 trillion to $7 trillion within one year. Some popular real estate euphemisms are location, 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 or cash is king. Well, in a time period when the dollar is losing value, actually debt might be king, which kind of sounds crazy. It's also important for you to speak with your financial advisor on how to properly balance your portfolio. For me, I like to make an argument that it might have a little bit more real estate. 